Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another pregnancy vlog. So, as of today, I am now 16 weeks pregnant, which means I am four months pregnant, which means I'm about 39.8% done with my pregnancy. But we're just gonna round that up to 40, because it sounds bad. Like I told you guys in my last vlog, I've been using the Bump app to keep up with my pregnancy. And so today they sent me my little notification that said, hey, you're 16 weeks. And they kind of let me know how the baby's developing, some, some things that are going on with the baby, and some things that I should be experiencing. So I'm just going to read right off of the app um, what it says and kind of let you guys know if the symptoms that they said I should be experiencing, I am. And then, of course, I'll add, you know, a few things that I've been experiencing on my own. So it says that today the baby is 4.6 inches long and it weighs 3.5 ounces. That is like as big as an avocado. So the baby is as big as an avocado. So we're getting somewhere. Last week I think it was a, an orange. So now we're as big as an avocado. It says that the baby is able to listen now to your voice, which is really exciting. So I'm planning on you know, talking to the baby more. My significant other is gonna start talking to the baby more because I heard it's really good to have the father of the baby speak to the baby while it's in the womb so that um, it develops a voice recognition. So when the baby is born, it can recognize the, the dad's voice. And I'm also gonna start playing music for the baby. Now I didn't do this with Phoenix and I have no idea if there's any like scientific benefits to this at all. If you know, then just comment down below and let me know what they are. But I don't really know if there's actually any benefits. I've just heard of a lot of mothers to be doing that. So I'm actually gonna try it and see, you know, <laughs> what comes of it. The baby should be getting hair now, lashes, and eyebrows and that the baby is forming taste buds. So it also says that now is the time to stay on the lookout for little flutters and that will be movements of the baby, which I've actually already been feeling. Um, this is my second child, so you usually will start feeling movements a lot sooner than you did with your first pregnancy. So I started feeling movements like um, around 14 weeks, but now I'm feeling them a lot stronger and then at some point soon in the near future, um, everyone should be able to feel the baby. So only I'm able to feel the baby kicking right now, but hopefully pretty soon everyone else will be able to feel the baby kicking. So the symptoms that I should be feeling right now, back aches. Oh, Lord have mercy Jesus. My lower back is just killing me. So I have a sit down job, I work in an office, and so my best tip to you know working pregnant women, especially if you have a sit down job, is to just make sure that you're trying to get up like every 30 minutes to an hour just to walk around for a little. Just try to get those muscles moving because my lower back just kills sitting in that chair all day. And so that's just my best advice to you is just to try to stay as active as possible. Stand up, do some exercising, do some walking. Bigger boobs. Okay. Seriously? Seriously. Seriously, I mean, look at those things. My baby's gonna be eating so good. Like seriously, you guys. These things are huge, they're huge, they're huge. Very tender and very huge. So I, I talked to you guys about that in the last video, but yes, they they are definitely growing. Constipation, so this is a symptom that I forgot to mention in my first video that I made, but honestly, I was dealing with constipation more in my first trimester than I am now. I am starting to feel a lot more regular, whereas in the first trimester, I'm not exaggerating either, you guys. I could literally go like two weeks without going to the bathroom, and I was kind of like, you know, I don't know if that's good, but now I'm actually starting to get, you know, back to regularity, which is which is awesome. <laughs> Forgetfulness, which is AKA the pregnancy brain. I think pregnancy brain is actually scientifically proven. I don't know if there's an actual known cause for it, but I think it's actually proven that there is such a thing as pregnancy brain. And you just get so forgetful when you're pregnant, and I have definitely been experiencing this. The funny thing is I have a story. I woke up like a few mornings ago in a complete mental haze. like walking around my house trying to remember what the heck it was that I got out of bed for. And I'm like, I could not remember. And I finally just said, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to bed because <laughs> I'm getting nowhere. So pregnancy brain is so real. If you're experiencing it, don't feel bad. You're not an idiot. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Faster hair and nail growth. So my hair I've noticed has been getting thicker, which is great. Um, my nails though, however, is what I've noticed the biggest change with. My nails normally are so 
terrible. They are so weak and brittle and they actually peel. Like my nails are so weak they peel. But with this pregnancy my nails have been growing like that. They've been growing so fast and they are so strong. It's amazing. So that's been a definite plus to this pregnancy. Dry, itchy, sensitive eyes. My eyes are so dry. They're dry right now. Like I keep visine with me wherever I go because my eyes are just so super dry. I'm not really sure if that has to do with the pregnancy or not, but they said that that can be due to hormones. So I mean, maybe it is. But my eyes are crazy dry all the time. And the glowing skin. <laughs> Some of you women are lucky to have that, you lucky gals. The glowing skin thing, yeah, I don't I don't think that's me at all. Still kind of dealing with some breakouts here. Like, I've got two nice little filled zits up here, nice and pussy for you. And I've got one little one right here on my chin. So I'm still kind of dealing with some breakouts, and I just don't really feel like I have the glowing skin thing. I don't know. I don't feel like my skin's glowing and I've never looked better. I just don't feel like that right now. But, um, you know, maybe as the second trimester progresses, maybe I'll get that glowing skin and maybe I'll be one of the lucky ones. So here are some of the symptoms that I've been experiencing that weren't included in the app. One of the newest symptoms that I've been feeling are hot flashes. I've been getting hot flashes during the day. I've been getting hot flashes at night. I'm having a hot flash right now, to be perfectly honest. I keep the AC on full blast. Like seriously, the hot flash deal is real. Another symptom that I have um, is I just feel like a bottomless pit. I can literally eat at least every two hours at this point. Like and probably sooner like I probably need food sooner but I just try to get myself to at least space it out every two hours I'm basically trying to be very conscious of you know how often I eat and the kind of foods I eat increased emotions you guys seriously I am just prone to tears right now I was watching Tangled the other night and when Flynn started to die I was like crying you guys I was bawling my eyes out watching this cartoon and I had to like take a step back and I'm like, Gabby, get your life together. I mean, I know it's hormones and I know that that will all subside, but seriously, you guys, I have been going through it. I do feel a lot better. As you can see, you know, I got my hair done. I went and get my eyebrows done today. I did a little shopping, so I'm actually feeling a lot more lively and I, I feel pretty good. It's baby bump time. So hopefully in the next two to four weeks here, we will know what we're having. We do plan on doing a gender reveal. Um, so I'm really super excited about that. So yeah, that I think that's it. Like I said, you guys, I have that pregnancy brain going on strong, so I'm trying to think if I left anything out. But no, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to stay tuned for future videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!